Yesterday, we showed you the picture of Tuvalu's foreign minister. He recorded his COP26 speech standing in knee-deep water, aptly representing the problems that all Pacific nations are facing thanks to climate change. That image took the internet by storm. It relayed a message no words could do justice to. And now, a day later, Tuvalu's foreign minister is all set to make his address at the COP26. Climate change and sea level rise are deadly and existential threats to Tuvalu and low-lying atoll countries. We are sinking, but so is everyone else. And no matter if we feel the impacts today, like in Tuvalu, or in a hundred years, we will all still feel the dire effects of this global crisis one day. But we are also not going to wait for the world to get its act together. We are looking to the future and preparing now for the worst case scenario where our lands disappear and our people must leave. We will not stand idly by as the water rises around us. We are not just talking in Tuvalu, we are mobilizing collective action at home, in our region and on the international stage to secure our future. The minister says Tuvalu is sinking and that his country has already been planning for the worst case scenario. Tuvalu is looking at legal ways to keep its ownership of its maritime zones and recognition as a state, even if the Pacific Island nation is completely submerged due to climate change. Tuvalu is an island with a population of around 11,000 people and its highest point is just 15 feet above sea level. As per the Australian government's 2011 report, since 1993, sea levels have risen about 0.2 inches per year. When asked what Tuvalu's people think about the rising sea levels, the minister said that some of the older generation saying that they are happy to go down with the land while others are leaving. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.